financial firms and regulators alike are finding ways to take advantage of the benefits of blockchain technology. Today, we will have an overview of this transformation and the impact and future of blockchain. Julian Lapic from Uncrypted, a consulting firm specialized in blockchain and digital transformation, will explain us the mechanism and the potential playground for blockchain within the financial institution. Julian, thank you for coming today. Let's get deep into the subject. Blockchain, where does it fit in the future of wealth and asset management? Similarly to other global ecosystem, the wealth and asset management industry is currently facing three key drivers, digitalization, decentralization, and decarbonization. And blockchain is very well positioned to tackle these three challenges at once. Digitalization, by, by its own nature, blockchain is fully digital. Uh, you, it's even, digitalization is even a prerequisite in order to have any blockchain solution. And the same goes for decentralization. Blockchain is a peer-to-peer -peer network of parties that can interact directly between each other without the need of a central authority. When it comes to decarbonization, blockchain can bring more efficient processes and more cost-effective data governance model, which will enable you to transform your legacy system into a more sustainable technology. So blockchain, as you can see, is a natural fit for the wealth and asset management industries, and it also brings interesting capabilities around data privacy and data security. So these are the real challenges nowadays. What is the current state of blockchain in the wealth and asset management industry? Maybe to take a bit of a, of a step back and look at the overall finance industry first. So the finance industry has been an early adopter of blockchain technology. Already five to 10 years ago, we have seen some banks doing proof of concepts to better experiment and understand this technology. So that explains that today you already have very mature enterprise ready blockchain solution for the financial industry. One example would be Corda. Corda is a blockchain platform created by a consortium of banks that has very strong capabilities around data privacy, data security, and scalability, which make it the platform of choice for highly regulated industry like the finance industry. If, if we look into more details into the wealth and asset management industry, they have been a bit lagging, uh, but this is something that has changed over the past two, three years. One example will be We Can Comply, which is a, a blockchain platform that directly interacts external asset managers with their bank in order to streamline the compliance process. So We Can Comply is a great and concrete example of that transformation. In order to enhance that transformation, what can wealth and asset management learn from other industries when it comes to leveraging the blockchain technology? What they have to realize is that blockchain in its nature has a very strong uh, revolutionary potential. It, uh, if you want to change the way an industry operates by solving the trust issue among competing parties, this is the way to go. But to have, what you have to accept is that you cannot change an industry by yourself. So if you want to use blockchain in order to define a new standards within your industry, it's better to partner with some of your competitors and create a consortium of like-minded parties that will enable you to define those standards together and bring the change by the industry for the industry. What's also very important is to take into account and not forget that uh, emerging technologies are risky by, by nature, but also from a regulatory standpoint. You need to make sure that the legal framework within which you're operating will allow you to bring the change that blockchain will bring uh, with it. So make sure that you work with the regulator from day one. Taking into consideration the limits you just mentioned, what are the concrete use cases blockchain could solve in wealth and asset management? So without going too technical, I think it's worth spending two minutes on two concrete use cases. The first one will be smoother client onboarding. Blockchain has the potential to streamline the KYC process. What does it mean is that for a client, instead of having to do a KYC with each and every one of their banks, they can put the KYC on a decentralized platform and then only release the information they need to on a need to know basis to the different banks that will enable to have a more efficient process for the banks and to respect data privacy of the client. The second one, which is maybe the most interesting one, will be the fact that blockchain can open up a new investment opportunities. Uh, if you look at asset tokenization, the fact that you're going to create a digital representation of a real world asset that can be traded on a blockchain platform will enable investors to have access to 
alternative investment, which is today still something that is only available to ultra high networks with tokenization. Anyone will be, have access to private securities, illiquid assets or real estate. Okay. So with these concrete use cases, what are the key success factors wealth and asset managers need to take into account when they consider using blockchain? I think first and foremost is don't do blockchain for the sake of doing blockchain. Uh, you have to go beyond the blockchain hype. Blockchain is a mean to an end and not the other way around. If you're not dealing with competing parties that have trust issues in 90% of the cases, you do not need blockchain. The second point will be regardless of the blockchain infrastructure that underpin your product with any digital product today, adoption is the only real metric of success. So you need to stay close to your users at all time to ensure that they will use the platform and that will not end up as a, as a fancy tool that no one uses. Well, thank you, Julian. Thank you. It's impressive to analyze the potential of the new technologies for the financial industry and the challenges to solve as well. So looking forward to our next discussions. Uh, meanwhile, please stay tuned to more videos on the Geneva Wealth Tech Forum.